give me spring, I don't mind. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Pastor says hi to everybody. He's not around. He had to go for retreat. Amen. Hallelujah. Please, I, I, I encourage every one of us to just put him in prayer. That he stands perfect, he stands complete in all the will of God. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So what have we been talking about? Pastor has been talking about the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We have been talking about the name of Jesus. That is above every other name. Hallelujah. And tonight I just want to summarize all what pastor has been saying so far. I'm not sure I will be saying anything new, but his word is always new every morning. Because the question I was asking myself is, all what he has been saying, how well have you gotten that? How well have we grabbed it? Father, I thank you tonight. The entrance of your word gives light and gives understanding unto the simple. Let there be light tonight in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. On Sunday, pastor started talking and he said, giving us why the name of Jesus? What is it all about? What is it about? What is that name about? He said his, he said his name gives us our identity. I want that to sink in. That name gives us our identity. What is our identity? Who are you? When you say he, he gave us, that one name gave me an identity. What is the identity that it gave me? That you are a new creation in Christ. That you are the righteousness of God is Christ Jesus. That you have been made rich. That you are free from sin. Those are the things is the name got you. I'm not going to. Because I'm just recapping. If you want to really know about it. Please go and listen to the Sunday message. And to that name. Gave us the scripture. Act 11. 26. Act 11. 26. And when he had found him, he brought him to Antioch. So it was that for a whole year they assembled with the church and taught a great many people. And the disciples were first called Christians in Antioch. Number two, he said the name of Jesus is above every other other name. <laughs> the name of Jesus is above every other name. Why is it above every other name? Because of what he did. I understand that many people are called Jesus, you know. People name their children Jesus. Now, I've, I've heard, oh, my name is Jesus. Okay. But what makes the difference? What makes their own Jesus different from the Jesus we're talking about? The identity. What he did. Those Jesus did not go to the cross. Philippians 2. Verse 9. 
Therefore, God has highly exalted him and given him the name which is above every name. That at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow of those in heaven and of those on earth and of those under the earth and that every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. What makes demon bow to that name? What makes every knee bow to that name? Have you sat down to really think that what made what is making demons bow to that name? Pastor was talking on Sunday and he was emphasizing something. He was emphasizing relationship. Knowing the name. Get yourself to know the name, not just say it, and that is when it can work for you. Hmm. Number three, only through his name can you get anything from God. John 16, 23, 24. And in that day you will ask me nothing. Most assuredly, I say to you, whatever you ask the Father in my name, he will give you. In my name. He did not say whatever you ask the Father, he will give you. No. You have to use that name with meaning in your heart. Until now, you have asked nothing in my name. Ask and you will receive that your joy may be full. Number four, everything Jesus is and was is carried in that name. Everything Jesus is and was is carried in that name. Mark 16 verse 17. Hallelujah. And these signs will follow those who believe. In my name, they will cast out demons. They will speak with new tongues. They will take up serpents. And if they drink anything deadly, it will not no, by no means hurt them. They will lay hands on the sick and they will recover. But do you know that some people have actually used that name <laughs> to cast, to, to pray for people. And it simply did not work. Why? Because they don't have a relationship with that name. It's even possible that God will honor them and make that name work for them. But you need to have a relationship for that name to truly work for you. Hmm. I read again. It says, and these signs will follow those who believe. In my name, they will cast out demons. Pastor was trying to tell us on Sunday that you don't have to call the name Jesus, Jesus, Jesus for it to work for you. In that, in my name that he's talking about, it's not. He's talking beyond that name. He's called, talking about the relationship. That if you have a relationship with me, my name is already embedded in you. When we gave our life to Christ, it was through that name. And when you gave your life to Christ, Christ came into your life. Is dwelling in you, inside of you. Hallelujah. I don't want to preach what Pastor has preached. Let's go and read. I go to the next one. His name is forever. His name is Revelation. 
Revelation 1.18 Revelation 1.18 His name is forever at work in you. Amen. Revelation 1.18 I read I'm he who lives and was dead and behold I'm alive forever. I read again. I'm he who lives and was dead and behold I'm alive forever. Amen. And I have the keys <laughs> to hate and of death. I don't know who is afraid of death. But sincerely, you don't have to be afraid of death. Because the person that has the key to the death to death lives in me. Lives in you. If you have him in you. That name of Jesus, do you know what I call it? I call it my access code. I'm sure many of you can relate to that. What is access code? Something that gives you access to something, right? You have to use it because you can before you can have access to something. And I take my scriptures from John 14. Verse 13. John 14, verse 13. And whatever, 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 what does whatever mean? Whatever means whatever. <laughs> Anything. <laughs> Anything at all. Whatever, everything you ask in my name. That I will do. That the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you ask anything, is repeating it again. In my name, I will do it. But let's remember that you have to ask in faith. Let's also remember that you have to ask apart from asking it with faith in your heart you also have to ask his will his will that is according to the scripture mm -hmm. his word you cannot ask to that lord I want to marry that man but he's already married. That is not according to his word. That is not according to his will. Mm -mm. You cannot even ask the Lord heal me if you want. It's not about if. And it's even not about heal me. You are already healed. You only need to claim your healing. Hallelujah. Hmm. This name. Every satanic oppression bows to it. This name. The healing power of God resides in it. This name has the faith that makes it to work for you if you have faith in that name. That name can work for you in every area of your life. But the question I ask, yes, pastor, I've been talking, everybody I've been talking, okay, 
I know we have the name, the name can work for me. But tonight, this is what I want you to get. How well do you know that name? How well do you know that name? How well do you know that name? That's my question to you tonight. How well do you know the name of Jesus? Oh, Mahakaraba Satana, Brahako Satana, he Satana. Imbroho Soto, Libre Hakura, Bahaso Soto, Libra Hasus Yende, Rebra Hekulo, Brasus Yende, Libre Geshka. Can you please pray in tongues with me? Mangro Boske, Lindrahato, Brahako Soto, Libre Geshka. Ingra Hazundo, no, no, Huri Hekolo, Broho, no, Homer Hika Sanda. Ingra Hakura, Basata, Labra Hakura, Basanda, Labra Haku Sataya, Balabra Hasus Ye. I kalambra haku non hiki sindre heku raba sanda labra haku. Imbro ho soto libre gesh kalandre heku satala bragash kelindre hesuta. I kalandre kela basanda. How well do you know that name? How well do you know the name of Jesus? That is my question to you tonight. I remember. Some times ago, I remember some times ago, I had a dream. And somebody came into my dream. I was still maybe around 20 years, thereabouts, or 19, 18, thereabouts. I know the person. I saw the person's face and I know the person very well. And this person came dressed, is a woman, dressed with all manner of charms all over her body and walked into my room. I was lying on my mom's bed, I remember very well. So when she came in and I saw charms from his head to, to her, from her head to her toe, I was like, what is happening? Why are you dressed like this? She said, I came to fight you. As early as <laughs> my age, I was like, fight me. And from why... I come from, I understand, I saw some things on her body that I understand what it meant. But the only thing in my dream that came to my mouth, I said, in the name of Jesus, every charm you are, that is on your body, let it turn to water. Do you know what the ne- I saw the next time? The moment I said that, I just saw that water started filling up the room and almost got here when I woke up. Everything, every charm turned to water. And I woke up and I I just started giving praise to God. That was one of those times really that I actually had an encounter with that name. Yes, I understand that I had the relationship with God. But I didn't, it has not really worked like that. So when that happened, I I just woke up and I just started shouting the name, Jesus, 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 Jesus. And this person lives not too far. So when I went out, I just kept saying that name, Jesus. Do you know what I noticed? The next three days, the person was avoiding me. If the person sees me coming, she will just pass the other way. I will just laugh. And do you know what I was saying? I said I was just saying that is the name that is above every other name. That's just what I kept shouting. 
that there is a name above every other name. Every knee bow at his name. Every knee bow at his name. Every sickness bow at his name. Every sickness bow at his name. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. 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 What is your challenge tonight? What are you faced with? What are you afraid of? No, as you are seated wherever you are right now, what are you afraid of? What are you afraid of? That the name of Jesus cannot solve. But do you know the challenge we have? We really don't trust that name. We don't really believe that that name can so much work for us. Or solve anything. Something happened to me today. I'm going to close with this. Yesterday I went out. I went to buy some curtain rod. And where I went to buy it, I found it a little bit cheaper. So I was like, okay. So I just picked it. I went home. But after picking it, I was now looking for the hook. It's not just the rod. You have to also buy the hook, right? So I was looking for the hook. I went to two other shops. I couldn't get. So I went home. So today, I went out again to go and look for the hook. But yesterday when I did not get it, okay, pastor was like, okay, maybe you get it at Home Depot. That Home Depot will have. Go there and you get it. I said, okay, I, that's too far. I said, oh, the place is too far. I can get it somewhere closer. I'll just go. So this morning again, I went out. I went to look at two other shops, making four shops, right? And I couldn't get it. And it was on this side of the my house. So, and Home Depot was, is on this other end, two opposite end. So I, when I didn't get it, I said, oh, you mean I still have to go to this Home Depot? So I went to Home Depot. And I got it there. So I brought it home. Around uh, to four this evening, I was like, oh, I did not actually check the size of the hook I bought to be sure that it's the same size with the rod. I said, but I was telling him, I said I was going to check, but why? how did I forget? So I just jumped up. I went to check the rod. So, this was the container, uh, this was the pack for the rod. It came inside this. So it was only the head you could see. So, I brought it out. Number one, I discovered that the rod was three inside instead of two, normal. The normal two. It was three. I said, wow, I didn't know it was three. Okay. So, after I removed it, I noticed that there was still something inside. So, I was like, ah, what was inside this? So, I pulled my hand in and went and by the time I brought it out, it was the hook. It actually came with it. But do you know the funniest thing? I was 
where the uh, two other shops that I went to, I was actually looking for the one that probably had the hook together with it. Although I bought this one, so I was like, okay, is there anyone here that even had the hook inside it together? But I couldn't find any. So, I brought the hook out. The one I bought was two. Which was this. Just two. So you have to buy two of this because you need three. But the one that came with it is actually three. Where am I going with this? Holy Spirit just used that to teach me something. Say my name. It's like what just happened to you. So Matthew now looked at it and the, looked at the back. I said, Mommy, actually, they wrote it there and they even put instructions there that the hook is inside. We did not just check. Hmm. The name of Jesus is like this, what I'm holding. You can never get the full benefit of that name until you get close to that name, which is his word. And you read the instructions. I had all what I was looking for all the while. All the while, I had it. But it did not profit me. Neither did it benefit me. Why? Because of ignorance. If I had taken my time to just look around, I was just looking at where the price is. Price. I did not bother. I looked at the price, I looked at the size. I did not bother to check round. If you only have your Bible with you, but you dare not read it, or bother to go further to see what is inside, even though you have it with you, it will never work for you. You will never benefit from it. Do you know another thing God showed, showed me with this? You know, even though it's inside, the hook was inside, but it was not transparent. Probably if it was transparent, I would have seen it. There are many things hidden in God's word. That when you carry that word, it looks as if it's nothing. But the more you look closely, the more you see the benefit that what you are looking for the answer to that question in your heart now, right now I'm talking to somebody you are asking God Lord how do I solve this the answer is with you why it lives in you have you taken your time to ask God Lord what do I do but you have asked every other quest, question, every other person, what to do. But have you asked God himself, that Lord, what should I do? The answer is with you. I'm talking to somebody right now. The answer is with you. God's word looks closed, hidden. You have to take time to open it Read the instructions so that you can know what is inside. If you always say God's word does not work, it can't work because you have not taken time out to read what will make it work for you. Tonight I just was like, God... I went around, wasted time. Went around looking for what is with me. 
already or I already have it. What am I saying? You already have your healing. You already have your victory. You already have your breakthrough. Don't go outside there looking for it. You don't have to call that man, I'm talking to somebody, to be asking what your life is like. The greater one that lives in you already tells you the path to your life. All you need to do is ask him. Read his word. And as you read, he will lead you with his word. Hallelujah. 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 God's word is real. Many of us are Christians, right? Many of us are born again, right? But the question I'm asking you tonight, do you know that person that lives in you? Do you know him? He lives in you, right? Yes. Oh, I have God in me. I'm born again. But how well is what you have inside working for you? Another opportunity will come for me to share another testimony. But tonight, I want you to, to leave you with this. You carry Jesus around. You have him right inside of you. How well do you know what you carry? How well do you know what, you have been, what has been in you, around you, and for you? How well? That name can only work, people of God, if you have that relationship with that name. Don't be a Christian for years. Oh, I've been a Christian for years. Don't get normal, familiar, too familiar with that name that it does not work for you anymore. Let me share one more testimony then we'll close. There was a day I was going out with my mom. I was still young. And we took a public transport. But sincerely, I cannot really explain what happened. But all I knew it was that my mom just shouted, Jesus! The moment she shouted, I looked up and saw that we were all like head on collusion with a boss. Sincerely, till today, I cannot explain how we did not collide together with the boss. But all I heard was my mom say, shouting, Jesus, Jesus. And all when I woke up, or, or when I turned back, the boss was behind. How he got behind and was going, we cannot say. Even my mom was like, because we were like, oh, some people were shouting, yeah, we are dead. This one, oh, I'm, I'm dead. Oh. No, we shouted the name of Jesus said, who will call upon that name shall be saved. And in literally saved. As in when something wants to happen to you, you call that name and it shows up. His name has power. That name has power. I want us to call that name tonight. We're going to call that name seven times. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. When I say one, two, three, we go. One, two, three. Jesus! 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 Jesus. Jesus! Thank you, Father. Can you increase that for me, Matthew? Imbrahakura basandalabrahakusatayadalaba. 
Ibraha kura basanda la braha kusata ya bala braha kusanda la braha susi endere vukodoro ibosoto. Ingra basanda la braka suta ya bala braka sata ya bala braka da 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 basanda. The name above every other name. The name above every other name. The name of Jesus is above every other name. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. 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 We give you praise tonight. Thank you, O God. Your word works. Your name is real. We hold on to that name. We call that name. And it works for us. We give you praise tonight, O God. In Jesus' name. Amen. Can we just lift our hands up? And just thank him. Just say, Jesus, thank you. Say, Jesus, thank you. Say, Jesus, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. When you wake up in the morning, shout that name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Wake up and say, thank you, Jesus. 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 Oh, we give you praise of God. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name. Amen. Let's package our offering tonight. Hallelujah. Let's package our offerings tonight. If you are paying your tithe, please write it as your tithe. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father, for our offering tonight. You said we should give and it shall be given unto us. Good measure, press down. Shaking together and running over shall men give unto our bosom. Thank you for abundance tonight. In the name of Jesus. Abundance. 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 In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. If you are giving... Through Zell, you can uh, online, you can give through Zell, you can give through our website, you can use any of the means to give. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Let's meet here again on Sunday, 10 a.m. As we say this together, sin shall not have dominion over me. For the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has set us free from the law of sin and death. And that same spirit of him that raised Jesus Christ from the dead dwells inside of me and gives life to my mortal bodies to the glory of his holy name. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow me, shall follow us all the days of our lives and we are the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Good night everyone. Have a glorious night and see you on Sunday. Amen. Hallelujah.